All right, guys, uh, back at Dover Western Heights for the third part of this video of the detached bastion. Um, of course, we've shown you around the um, northwest Captain Year, also known as the casemates. We've shown you the east gallery um, and two tunnels associated with that. We're now on the top of the detached bastion. We're going to show you around a few bits here and then down into the um, east gallery and uh, give you a little show around that one. Um, so the You've got these two sections um, which were used as air raid shelters in World War II, um, which is just a nice little addition. I'm guessing originally you wouldn't have built the tunnels, they probably would have been Napoleonic, stuck like as uh, Napoleonic tunnels, but they were also used as World War II um, air raid shelters. I wonder if the other tunnels like this one where they sort of blocked it off. Yeah, we'll uh, take you around. I think there's a couple of artillery lockers on the other side. Artillery lockers. Yeah, no, I thought if you've got slide up here, at least you can. See, so is the last one we just see. And then I believe there's also one on the other side as well. Uh, I don't know how acceptable that one's going to be. This first section here, this room, would have been a artillery store. Um, small, small room that someone's decided to cut through the front of, as you do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now this would have just been a small artillery store um, for all the sort of gun placements and that. A couple of nice brackets still in place. All good to see. Um, and then we're going to go down into the East Gallery. I probably should have taken this out. Oh. Do you want to grab the camera or anything? You're all right. Got us. Yeah, now once again, as you can see, this would have had a, a nice big gate on. What's slightly cool though, is that would have been the original hook that when the gate would have gone back, I would have hooked on to. Now these, this is the East Gallery. Um, down here is in probably the worst condition of anything on the detached bastion. Uh, there's always been issues of it being waterlogged, mosquitoes, all this mould stuff growing. It's almost like snow. Oh, it's it looks as fine as, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm glad I have the last one. <laughs> I think you're the best projector to be fair. Yeah, 
Thanks so much for coming down again. Each section has this uh, little stepping bill. I'm guessing for a long time they've had water and mud coming down. Now, I guess at one point that would have been something that went on further. Uh, looks like people tried digging around the wall. It appears as though they actually managed to get through now. Uh, but it's an empty cavity, slight cavity behind it. Solid top face. Let's just build the wall in front of. Yeah, I can't work out if behind there it's a solid chalk wall like this or whether. They've used the chalk as bricks like they have up there. It looks to be solid, but it, can't quite get the angle. That's, that's it, you just can't quite tell. Um, but looking up at the ceiling anyway, these cracks that are running through, this is where this side of the bastion is slowly starting to slip away, actually from the rest of the fort itself. Um, and it's like this, this whole wall is uh, chalk brick. Yeah, I don't know if that's been done just to add a bit more of a structural support behind it, whether the chalk is coming away where it's always been so down down here or yeah, this is the only one with those bricks and the rest of this bit of chalk. Yeah, no, that's that's it. We just carve it out as the chalk but where it's so wet down here. Right. Oh, damn, Could have been that a lot of the chalk face slid away, and even back in the Paleolithic times, they've um, put that brick chalk there to replace bits that have fallen. And you've got chalk wall in some of the places here. Uh, bricks. Try digging it out, it looks like it goes to another archway up there. Awesome. Yeah, might as well. It goes around a little way, um, and then there's another archway that someone's tried digging out at the far end. Oh, yeah. 
They've dug two of the archway and taken quite a few pieces mm -hmm. out of the archway. Ah. Definitely seems to be an arch. I've just put a solid brick wall. Structurally unsound. Ah, a big crack going on the ceiling. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the uh, the East Gallery here. Um, what we're going to do now, we're just going to sort of stop the video here. We're going to jump back up top because there's one other magazine that we need to get to. Um, just to show you guys that one um, and we'll see you there. even further over. <laughs> All right, so we're back on the um, top of the uh, um, As we said, we're gonna try and get to the, the other magazine. Um, I'll let you sort of stand there. -ish. Now, we've worked out where it is which is that mound that's over there through all the thistle, all the bramble, everything like that. Um, may come back and see if we can film it, but I, I don't, we're not cutting up our legs today just for a, a small magazine, I'm afraid. Um, <coughs> what we'll do, we're going to take a climb up to the mound in the centre of it all and uh, we're going to finish off with a nice view. So this is the, the view that they would have had from the top of the detached bastion. You can see, you can see for a good old fair distance all the way over to Dover Castle in the background where of course some of our other videos are going to be coming out from. But the detached bastion, that's all that we're actually able to show you and bring you for it which is also fairly extensively covered. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one guys and uh, we'll see you in the next one.